Up next, we have one of the producers of this here glorious show. Please welcome our friend John Hurst. I love the I love the seat here. By the way, it's just like I just want to sit here and be like I feel like this is like the uh, I need a children's menu. How are you guys doing? I want the fries and the grilled cheese, please. Thank you. I also wrote this in red ink, and I can't see it on the stage, so that's part of me. Very good, John. Thank you. Um, how are you all doing out there? Good. 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 Um, on the way over here today, I uh, saw a sign on the road next to a business, and it said, uh, and it said the words like it said like anxiety, pain, samples inside, and I'm like. Well, no, 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 thank you. I got, I got plenty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Wait, wait. Is this a second-hand store? Can I, can I give some, like, I got some pretty good pain. I got some good shit over here. I got, like, I got, like, you know, you want that anxiety, that thing you remember from second grade where you're just embarrassed, but you should not be embarrassed about it? I got that for you. Just come, like, I, I, we can do a good trade. I'm a dealer of pain over here. I'm not the, not the punchy kind, more the mopey kind. The kind that... The kind that where uh, you realize that you're you're a deep like you're you're deep down in the darkness when you realize that you've got your free Domino's pizza on the uh, on the free Domino's chain. I call them. They do not appreciate it when I uh, when I go oh it's my depression pizza. <laughs> uh, but I mean like I, I, I'm I'm 35. Um, like the pain part like everything pops in my body at this point. I I I, I can like everything like like normally it's like yeah hey, cool pop. They're like no like it just. Everything hurts now, <laughs> and um, I, I, you know, I thought maybe, maybe I'd be like the uh, the cool, like the cool uncle with a skateboarding dog or something. No, I'm just, I'm a white dude in comedy. <laughs> like you can buy me a co at the comedy Costco, basically. <laughs> if you look, like for every six you buy, there's a free podcast. <laughs> it's <a guarantee. laughs> um, but yeah, the. Um, I, I got some other hobbies. I got some other things I do other than uh, be on comedy. I, uh, I, uh, my, I have, a, I like music. My favorite, uh, my favorite genre is uh, awesome, off, office gossip, actually. <laughs> and that, I, and that you don't, you, the best part is you don't even need like a, you don't need like expensive AirPods or headphones or even a cell phone. All you have to do is just like order some fish, fish the night before. <laughs> and then, like you know, put it in the kitchen and just watch it. Watch, watch them go. And they, they get really, you know, you know what's the good shit. You know what's the good office of gossip when they go like, you know, they, they brought someone brought some fish in the uh, fish in the kitchen. Oh my God! Can you believe them? Can you believe them, Sarah? Can you believe them? Oh my God! It smells. It's gonna. They're gonna. It's gonna smell like that all the afternoon. <laughs> all afternoon. It's gonna be on. Can you believe that? And it's like, it's pretty good. It's pretty good time. I highly recommend it. Um, outside of that, though, uh, I, um, again, like I said, white doing comedy, hi. Um, I do, uh, I, I, I tend to write a lot of notes that just make no sense to me in the future. Like, for example, like I, I woke up the other day and was looking through my notes, and I had a note that the only thing on this, on my note, like this text file, was fuck the space police. <laughs> the only thing written on there. And I'm like, what? It's like, yeah, I'm like, I, I believe in that. It's like, yeah, but why? <laughs> and then, but I realized, a couple couple weeks later, I realized that message was from me in the future. Because, <laughs> let me tell you something. Uh, first of all, uh, I don't know, you guys may have heard this, this thing called the Space Force that uh, they're working on. Uh, but, like, the, like uh, the new, a news article came out about that, but Ted Cruz said verbatim, Pirates threaten the open seas, and the sea, and the same is possible in space. In the same way, I believe we too must recognize the necessity of the space force to defend the nation and to protect space commerce and civil space exploration. And I never, never thought I would say this, but thank you, Ted Cruz, because you just give validity <laughs> to me becoming a space pirate. <laughs> I mean, I, I never, I, you know, my guidance counselor for years said, I was like, John, John, you're not on the right path. You're not on the right path. I could be a space pirate now. I didn't, like, that's... I, I'm gonna get like I'm gonna get the full cape. I'm gonna get like Captain Harlock on that shit. Uh, it's gonna be and you know what? Like they're gonna be like it's like it's like we don't know where all these space pirates came from. You made a space police. Fuck the space police. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's what I'm gonna do. Like you can check that out on my space police podcast later on too. Uh, so. Like like um, you usually see me here at the at Friendly Town. I got like got one more for you here. Um, and 
I, you know, you know, are you, any of you, I'm sure you guys are familiar with a uh, little guy, uh, like, he's up-and-coming artist, Garth Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> got, got that song that always gets played at karaoke by her cousin Becky, who's super drunk at the moment on Pictures of Miller Lite. Uh, but, you know, like, uh, you know, Friends in Low Places, then, which goes, And I'm not big on social graces, they got slip on down to the oasis. Okay, that was pretty good, pretty good. That's about the, that's about the excitement at 3 a.m. after the fourth time that is played. <laughs> And truly, like graces and oasis is barely a rhyme. Based, like at the thing, I, the things that Garth Brooks must have went through to get to that rhyme. Like you, know, like try to figure it out. I, I think I figured. I went through his box and I found a, I found a list of them. So it's they all slip on down to the old the doll test, which you know he was big on dental cleaning. Everyone was. This him to be uh, he, brush your teeth twice a day. Uh, they all slip on down to the room of faces. <laughs> Honestly, a little creepy. That's too, like, that's American Horror Story levels right there. <laughs> Gotta slip on down to the blockbuster! <laughs> Let's be honest, he was trying to get that promotional deal going. It did not work out. <laughs> Gotta slip on down to your mom's basement! <laughs> Just, honestly, that's a little bit rude. That's more of a Chris Gaines type of line. <laughs> He just kind of settled. He settled on Oasis because he's a big Wonderwall fan. So, anyway, my child's dinner has arrived. I'm gonna leave you guys here. Take it.